Yeah, I don't know, guys. It's trying to go out here and film my intro for the video I'm doing for the cemetery tonight. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to try to film my intro for the cemetery that I was going to explore tonight. But it's uh, pouring rain. I'm going to wait it out a little bit. See if it stops. It slows down. But it's just absolutely pouring right now. everybody welcome back to visually creep tv for another creepy video the rain has finally stopped and i was able to get out of my car so i can shoot my b-roll and shoot this intro so i'm at a place called prairie home cemetery i actually grew up in this town and we used to dare each other as kids to ride our bikes through here at night because this place is open 24 hours a day and you could just come right on through the gates and to be honest with you i think i only did it one time and it wasn't successful i had to ride and turn all the way back so anyways right now during the day it's not that creepy but at nighttime this place is gonna get creepy it is huge i'm not too sure how many people are buried in here but there is a lot to this place what creeps me out is that there's these bushes everywhere like let's see if i can find a couple it's kind of more in the midsection that i kind of noticed this but i can already tell man when it gets dark i'm gonna f in my pants i'm not gonna lie like I'm kind of creeped out already that I have to come back here and shoot a video at nighttime, but I'm gonna do it for you guys. So, another interesting thing about this place is that there's a celebrity buried here, and it was the guy who invented the electric guitar, Les Paul. His monument's over that way, so I'm gonna take you that way next after this, and I'm gonna walk you around on what this place looks like during the day, and then I'm gonna come back at night and see what we can get and capture, if anything, on film. So, let's get into it. <laughs> switch to my GoPro so you guys have a wider field of view right now I'm gonna walk back to my car I'm gonna drive over towards the midsection where Les Paul is buried the guy who invented electric guitar for those of you who don't know I know I mentioned that already but um hopefully this GoPro catches a uh, decent audio I haven't really used it for this yet so like I said this place is huge like I can kind of show you I don't even do it justice just wait till we get in the middle section because I'm actually intimidated by this place it's so big and there's a lot of old uh, headstones and there is actually what's really cool there's a few mausoleums that look just creepy they have like little corridors like almost like hallways and it's outdoor and they got a newer section where they built that it looks actually really nice it's really cool so I'm gonna explore everything I can as long as I don't get scared out of me but uh hey i just noticed this check this out wow the guy straight up has a cannon at his sight damn <laughs> yo this place is pretty sick i've never seen this in my life ever man this is pretty cool Yeah, I never visited this place. Grew up here, never seen that before. There's these, uh, I'm gonna show you, they have a bunch of these little, I'd call them like smaller mausoleums, like the outdoor ones. And I know at night they're just gonna be spooky, so we're just gonna go see what they look like during the day. Man, it's like 95 and humid out here right now, man. I'm getting hot, but check this out. They got these little tuckaways in here, man, and I'm like, I, I don't know, man. 
they got these little tuckaways in here and i'm already creeped out that i because i'm gonna try walking through here like there's a lot of these that are like this like a lot and just the bushes that i was talking about earlier it's like stuff like this like stuff like that once your mind starts going and you start thinking you see things that's you got to be able to control that and i'm still working on that yet Another little small one right there. A lot of the grounds workers came out and are starting to do some landscaping. So I'm gonna wrap it up for my daytime stuff here in a minute, but they also have a lot of these things. And I know you guys watched my uh, video of the whistling uh, ghost. Check this out. <laughs> Look familiar. That's not the same one because I'm at a different place, but it looks just like that. Ever since then, I've been creeped out of those things. guys so uh it's not quite nighttime but i just want to show you something that i noticed when i just parked my car because i'm waiting for it to get dark outside see these flags okay you see these flags look at this flag over here it's the only flag that is moving it was just swinging back and forth it just stopped it just stopped. There is no wind out here. This flag was going back and forth like nuts. This flag right here. What's up guys so i parked my car up by like the front gates and there's really only one way out of this place there's actually two entrances and exits one's on the north end was where i'm at and there's one in the south end which is uh they keep that one closed at night for whatever reason i guess so people can't drive you know through it so uh there was a car sitting back there a van i just kind of moved all the way to the opposite end of the cemetery so we're gonna we're gonna start this. We're gonna walk around and see what we can find. I just happened to come across this walking here. I haven't seen this one yet. Let's check it out. Oh, 
hell is that? It's an industrial park behind me. Hold on guys, I'm just gonna flip my mic around so you can hear me better when I talk. Sorry about that. Sorry for the noise. All right, there we go, that's probably a lot better. So, I'm not really spooked quite yet, but that flag I saw flapping by itself kind of got me off guard. Like, I didn't expect to see that. I don't know, there was no wind at all. So it's just gonna go into the unexplained category. I did see, uh, what was that? I just heard something. Just, oh, I'm already hearing stuff. There's probably people off in the distance. I did see the local police department roll through here once. Uh, this is a 24 hour cemetery. Even though I'm not doing anything wrong and I'm just exploring, I just don't want to have to explain what I'm doing. You know, like, yeah, I'm walking around in the dark in the cemetery looking for ghosts. So it's better off not having to share that right now. Oh, this is really old right here. Check this out. So again, guys, if you see or hear anything, put it in the comments. Try to timestamp it for me. And because I may not catch everything in review. Although, I mean, it's, it's pretty quiet right now. There's really... A lot of crickets and bugs flying around, but other than that, I'm in a pretty creepy part of the cemetery, though. It's This is one of the older sections. There's one of these bushes. Oh, jeez, man, I just... <laughs> a lot of industrial park around here, so there's a lot of noises. I see a car back there. So I'm just gonna walk through all, each and one of these sections. Just gonna take my time. It's definitely dark out here. Definitely dark. I'm pretty sure I'm the only person walking around by himself other than that van I saw over there, but I'm not going to worry about that person right now. Definitely cars over by the main building office. Oh, I see some cool monuments over here. Let's go check this out. I'm gonna try to make not too many cuts in this video. Just gonna keep it going. If I do make cuts, it's uh, because I was messing around with something with my camera and I didn't wanna catch the feedback noise from the stuff that's on my camera mount. Or if I gotta go in my backpack for any reason, which I probably will to get my spotlight out. Looks like. Hey, look at this, check this out. Someone likes Tootsie Rolls. I got two cars coming my way. Don't mind me. It's 
stones. Guy kind of stopped. I wouldn't be surprised if the police do just come and check and see what I'm doing. It wouldn't surprise me at all. I mean, I get it. I'm sure there's been vandalism in here at some point. So I'm gonna be heading into this more, what I call the middle section. It's really dark over there. It's like pitch black. I think now's a good time to grab my spotlight for sure. I'm gonna try to do that and keep filming. Let me know if you see something. setting not that that does anything but you can tell just how dark it really is so I'm gonna make my way over to like the, those outdoor mausoleums that you saw earlier after this there's another bush these bushes creep me out I just think something's gonna pop out and just like Look at me. I'm just creeped out by the bushes. <laughs> Walk at anybody's uh burial site. Oh yeah, this is a real mosquitoes are really bad out here right now. I'm gonna muscle through it. Can't go this way. That's me clicking my flashlight. Spotlight. It's really hot and humid by the way too doesn't help. Hey, I'm gonna go by this uh, this crypt that I saw earlier. See, there's that van. I keep seeing this van. What the hell is this guy doing? I don't know if this place has its own security. But he's been kind of driving around. I'm gonna turn my light off, guys, for a second. It's gonna be dark just for a second. I'm just gonna kind of disappear back here because uh, he's playing really loud music too. Country music. Hear that? I can't see a freaking thing in front of me right now, but this guy's playing his music. Come on, man, trying to make a video. Wait a minute. That's not coming from the van, dude. I got another car coming, guys. Where's this music coming from? guys they do have guys rolling around here don't mind me buddy all right so oh yeah it's that van it's blaring his music
apologize about that, guys. They do have people, and it looks to me as if they got people that come and check this place, which is understandable. So every time someone gets near me, I'm just going to keep walking further on. So this guy's still, still playing his music. All right, let's continue. <laughs> it's kind of funny, man. I guess I'm weird for coming in here and a little nuts coming in here by myself. But, you know, he's he could be visiting somebody and playing the music for him. Who knows? Again, guys, if you see anything, put it in the comments and let me know. All right. It's really, really dark out now. So I'm kind of walking the main road, the path that goes around the cemetery is what I'm kind of doing, and I'm gonna cut in certain places. Okay, that's gotta be wind. Because that's so weird, dude. There's okay, there's a couple others that are kind of moving. I do feel a little breeze now though, so I'll just uh keep that out of my mind. It is warm. Industrial building again. I saw this little monument coming in here earlier. Walk over here. and I just started getting the goosebumps. So yeah, I can't remember if I mentioned this before. Um, so I'm just walking around. I'm not really gonna keep the camera on me and uh, let you guys see if you can see anything while watching. Just so we can walk through, because this place is pretty big and I wanna get as much as I can and not be disturbed while doing it. Apparently other people like to come here at nighttime. It's really dark over here. I'm just going to stomach it and do it. I put mosquito spray on. I don't think it's working. So, as I'm walking here, I guys i don't know if this place is uh i've heard it was haunted 
I never personally been here and seen anything, but growing up you hear stories. Because like I said, I grew up around here and I just heard it was haunted. I heard that people would come in here. What was that? Freaking myself out. Anyways, you know, you just hear stories, little legend, legends and um, parents, you know, when you're staying over at a friend's house, we talk about this place quite a bit and say they used to come here when they were kids and they'd see like a white lady, like a, <laughs> not necessarily specifically a white lady, but a lady in a white dress walking through here. That's one of the ones I heard. Um, shadows. Oh God, I'm catching the reflection. I keep thinking I'm seeing stuff because the reflection from my light is casting off the headstones because they got that like glossy finish on it. I think I know where I am now. I don't really know. I ended up, I just kind of started walking. I know you don't really see much now, guys. I'm just walking the path till I get to the next section. closer to the main road, so I'm just going to walk the opposite direction. Yeah, I was over here. We'll walk down this way, though. Let's get in section here. I did forget to bring my recorder because I was going to try to do some EVPs in this video and I'm a dumb dumb for not doing so. It's my fault, so I apologize. Okay, now I keep hearing something behind me. Like, I feel like something's walking behind me. Already drenched with, drenched with sweat. seeing I don't know if you can see the headlights see the headlights over there it's a car it's like driving around I think it's the van it's coming this way In case I die. Nope. Yeah, it is the van. Must have been just visiting somebody. All right, guys, enough about the damn van. <laughs> the whole time I was worried about this van, man. I believe that was the last vehicle in here. I keep blowing off bugs on my arm. Stepping any 
everybody's headstone because there's a lot of old ones like this. Like you just don't see them. I mean, it looks like there's something written on it, but. keep hearing stuff behind me. I don't know what it is. So I'm just gonna... Kind of lost my sense of direction of where I'm at in here. I think I'm doing somewhat of a circle. Oh yeah, it goes way back here, yeah. We're gonna cut through. I keep hearing something behind me, seriously. God, it looks mad creepy over there. What was that? What the hell was that? I just heard a click. Oh, Jesus. Hello? I don't know if something fell from the tree. <sighs> some just either fell or some. Something clicked. No idea what that was. I don't know, I might have stepped on something too, I don't know. Uh. <laughs> I'm a little freaked out right now. I'm a little freaked out, guys. A little freaked out. I don't know what that was. I mean, there is sticks on the ground, but it didn't sound it didn't feel like I stepped on anything. I'm gonna have to review that. We're gonna go this way because there's like uh, some newer mausoleums that I want to check out. Switch hands. My hand just went numb. I'm holding this. Right, we're back on the road. Towards. Oh yeah, I keep hearing stuff over here. Like the same sound, I just heard it. It was a little further away, but I just heard the same exact sound. Like a popping or something dropped. It's gotta be something falling from the trees. I don't know if you guys see anything, let me know. I'm not gonna build a no until I enhance the audio. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to one other section, real quick, that I didn't go to, and then we're gonna hit up that uh, area of the mausoleum. Maybe I should go by the Les Paul Monument too, just to show you that again. I don't know how well we're gonna see it. wrap around to the right once we get to the Les Paul monument those are trucks and then I'm gonna um, make my way towards I'm hearing stuff back there guys I'm hearing something back there right over here
thing is you just don't know what it is I'd have to see something and I don't know if I want to <laughs> shit it's so dark in here right now I can't believe I'm doing this hold on seriously man I wouldn't you wouldn't catch me doing this five ten years ago whatsoever at all so I'll get into that another time and why I'm doing this see I took the light off me I can't see shit here's the Les Paul monument guys I kind of noticed like the beginning of this video that I didn't really thoroughly give you a good look but there is some writing on here um, it's pretty cool I think See, there's two. Here's uh, Les Paul's tomb, we call it. And then there's this Evelyn Stutz. To be honest, I have no idea who that is, nor have I ever heard of her. But um, apparently pretty important. I don't know. Maybe it's teacher or something. I don't know. I come up with all sorts of weird ideas. People, I didn't notice this before, but people put uh, guitar picks. Looks like uh, music notes right there. And money. There's a guitar pick right there. I never noticed that. I wonder if that was there the last time. I gotta check that out. That's cool. So yeah, there you have it, guys. Les created his unique sound by combining jazz and country styles with his guitar and recording innovations. It's awesome. There is a lot of Beatles. I hope none of these damn things are clinging to me, man, when I'm walking. That's disgusting. How are you? I'm going to get out of this section here. Man, there's a million of them. Guys, I'm afraid of bugs more than I am ghosts. <laughs> seriously, man. Hey, seriously, if there's a centipede crawling around on my floor, you can ask my fiance yourself. I will freeze or I will run. I don't do them. I don't do centipedes. I just can't. All right. So we're going to walk back. Just hearing weird things in a cemetery, guys. I'm not quite used to it. It's only my second night explore, so my ears are definitely tuned in to everything. Whoa, whoa. That, that sounded like, I don't know what that sounded like. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? I can't even describe what I just heard. sounded like something slapping on concrete. That's what it sounded like. It was right behind me. Jesus. So I pretty much walked almost to the back end, but there's a main road where we first started. When I first started walking, I don't want to get too close to it because it's noise contamination. Actually, where the hell am I? Oh, geez, I was way off. It's over here. Look at this. It's pretty dark in that section too. Although when I was here, what was that? 
man, am I just hearing every little noise. Um, what was I saying? Oh, when I was here earlier, where we're going to now, this newer section, outdoor mausoleum. I think that's what that's called. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's what I've been calling them. Where they're like the drawers. Uh, they have like sensor lights on there. So I'm assuming so when you come visit at night, you can see in there. So maybe it'll go off. I made sure I put that in my... What the hell was that? See this section right here? This is where I saw that flag moving. It was that one right there, actually. Now they're all kind of swaying. There's a little bit of wind. So I'm not going to worry about it. But before, there was no wind. And that was the only one dancing around. Freaky. Alright. My light all the way up. Man, this light's burning out already. This is my car actually right here. I did park over in this side by the entrance and exit. The waterfall's not on. This is actually really cool how they did this. I don't know, just like the theme of it. Like the color, not this one necessarily. I mean, it's nice, don't get me wrong. But this is like, it's like black marble or granite or something. I think granite, yeah. Ooh. I swear the temp just kind of dropped in here. These things, particularly, I like coming in here, but they creep me out, dude. They creep me out. It's a cricket. It's also something moving on the ground. I'm getting distracted. I'm gonna try not to get people's names. These are pretty recent. A lot of 2019s and probably 10, 15 years back. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna scroll through. This is really cool. There's like a, it looks like a castle. I'm gonna aim the light up there. Look at that. That part right there. I don't know if you can go up there. I don't think so. There is a door at the bottom of it. I'm here. I heard a bang over here. <laughs> see, like over there, you can see these industrial buildings. And this just wraps all the way around. So we pretty much walked around almost everything. Like I didn't get every square inch of the cemetery, guys. Um, mainly the older section, the larger parts where it was really dark. So I'll probably wrap it up and I'm gonna have to review this. And yeah. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap up the video right here. Thank you so much for watching. Again, let me know if you guys saw anything that I didn't and put it in the comments and I'm gonna check it out and I'll give you a shout out. I made 100 subscribers today also. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have been very supportive. My channel is just growing like I never thought it would. 100 is not a lot to a lot of people, but to me, it's, it's awesome. Like, it is a good milestone. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. And I'm gonna see you in the next video.